Well, we're on our way down to northeast Iowa here. Um, got a big lease. Um, we just crossed. It's just actually just outside of Lansing. I'm um, gonna go put some mineral out. Kind of get start getting some scouting done on it. Um, I'm an agent for Cooley Land Company in, in Wisconsin, and then one of our agents in Wisconsin, Lene Schwigerath, is also a broker now in Iowa, and I do consulting and land management for her in the state of Iowa. So we're actually going to go down and take a look at this lease. She was supposed to meet us there today, but um, she's been pretty busy with some listings today, so she's probably not going to make it, but we're going to go around, check the farm out, get a bunch of work done on it and uh, kind of get a little better idea of how we need to lay everything out, get our mineral out and uh, probably put a few cameras up too and uh, maybe we'll get a few early bucks in velvet, kind of get an idea of what's, uh, what's there. Pretty excited. I, I know the guy had it in the past and had a lot of big deer on it so we uh, pretty optimistic. Still been a logger in a previous life. <laughs> Giant on that spot. A little trick I use, I like to take uh, old stumps, logs, cut them up, especially ones that are, um, that you'll see here, a little bit rotten. And then I take my saw and hollow them out a little bit. It holds the mineral, then you don't end up, guys that just dump it on the ground, you end up, the salt and the mineral soaks in and they end up eating a big hole in the ground where if you do it like this, most of the mineral gets absorbed into the wood and they just, I mean, it works awesome. <laughs> Just put mineral here we got a right off that pond got these two big bedding points and everything kind of funnels up going out to the field and they put beans on this side this year so that's going to be a huge attraction and then we're sitting where the blue dot is i think we're just going to go back put mineral in on this big long bedding ridge here probably put it right here and then we're going to have some in this in the gauntlet back here there's a big CRP field with switch in it. And then we got three big major bedding area ridges that everything feeds is gonna, this is all CRP out around the neighbors. Everything is coming this way. We're gonna add a water hole back in this corner. Put some mineral there, see what we got for bucks for the summer. And then we're gonna move on down and then hit this other side, so. Pretty awesome. We got all the stands already set, marked. Some we have to put in, and some are already there. Pretty amazing. We'll make it work. Another monster old white oak.
in uh, Northeast Iowa, just got done meeting with uh, a, bro a broker over here that works through our company, uh, Cooley Land Company, Lynn for your ass. She's a broker in Northeast Iowa agent. I'm an agent in Wisconsin, but I do consulting for her. And on this property, you can see they got rows of walnut strung out here that they cut off of here. And that's something that a lot of people don't realize the value that is in the timber whether they're selling or buying. And if you're a, say somebody that, and it's an estate, um, mom and dad passed away, now the kids are gonna liquidate the property. If I go in there and say, you don't wanna just sell it for this price, I mean, you might wanna log it first, or you wanna obviously add this onto the market price because the value is there. And most agents, a lot of agents just don't, they don't have a logging background. I do, I used to log, I used to cut or for somebody on the buyer side. I mean, if I go look at a property for you and say, hey, I mean, you're looking at $100,000, $150,000 worth of timber value there, that really changes what the property's worth to you. And uh, that's just something that we offer that a lot of brokerages don't because they just don't know. And uh, all this money you'd be leaving on the table. And I don't know about you.